At number one is Wes. Wes, while attempting to carve a pumpkin, has his arm taken control by the evil pumpkin entity, which makes Wes slice his own throat. Death number two is villager number one. Number one has the evil entity wrap its pumpkin root around his neck with so much pressure it decapitates him. Number three is villager number two. Number two gets a scalping from our evil pumpkin entity. Death number four is villager number three. Number three tries to escape the mayhem and gets a flying knife to the head. Death number five is villager number four. Number four is corralled by the evil pumpkin entity and then strung up and choked to death. Death number six is AJ. AJ tries to keep reporting about the murderous events that just took place. However, our evil pumpkin entity has other plans and sends two roots through AJ impaling him. For good measure, AJ is then tossed into an electrical transformer. Death number seven is Kevin. Kevin is killed off screen, but we do get to see his two-way radio on the floor followed by his severed head. Death number eight is Shane. Shane first has his hand ripped off when our evil pumpkin entity wraps its root around his wrist, severing it. And then the entity finishes Shane off by choking him with his own nub. Death number nine is Barb. Barb is killed when she is thrown from the corn mobile and ends up with a knife stuck in her chest. Death number 10 is Clint. Clint gets dragged away by the evil pumpkin entity and then confronted. He tries to reason with the evil pumpkin and has his head ripped off by the entity. Death number 11 is Earl. Earl tries to use a shotgun when he gets attacked by Clint's body. But the evil pumpkin entity strikes again and takes control of the gun, shooting Earl in the head. I end my death count for Hulot's car by finding Clint's missing head, so his soul can be at peace. Thank you for watching.